Hello ladies and gentlemen, Evil here bringing you the first post-patch match in Age of Empires 4. So yeah, what a great patch, what a great, a great patch indeed. Um, one of the biggest issues uh, that we faced was the anima animation cancelling. Uh, very annoying, uh, you know, kind of game theory style, like most people hated it, but they had to use it anyway because their opponent did. So yeah, this is gone. Uh, another huge thing is um, no more uh, Age of Siege, uh, <laughs> at least hopefully. They nerfed them, they're slower now, they have a slower catch-up rate, so they're not race cars anymore when they catch up in formation. They're generally slower, um, so this, this, this is great. Uh, Cavalry now has their uh, bonus damage doubled against them, um, so great changes across the board because think about it have you ever ever <laughs> heard about artillery only armies in history like just imagine a, like an army of of uh, mangonels or bombards or uh, trebuchets uh, or spring just moving by themselves um, this was kind of the feeling in late game especially against china here um, who just spammed nest of bees Backed up by bombards, and there was literally nothing you could do to stop them. Um, sometimes they they pick grenadiers instead of uh, <laughs> instead of uh, nest of bees. So yeah, um, very annoying. It kind of broke the immersion of the game because this is very, uh, or at least trying to be very historically accurate and trying to implement lots of interesting civilization-specific mechanics, right? like English longbows, which were really uh, shining uh, 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 for a period of time in history, a long period of time, or the French knights. Like, there's so many great things here in this game, and I'm really happy they tackled this. And we are going up here against China. So, <laughs> what could be a better test than going up against China? Also on a very um, defensive map, so where uh, games usually tend to last longer. Uh, so yeah, let's see what our Delhi here can do against the Chinese. Delhi got buffed a little bit uh, with the Abbasid regarding the, I think it's a 5% increase of berry bush rate um, collection. Um, I think it's fair. Uh, uh, this is a unique thing for Delhi and Abbasid, the berries. It makes your... Uh, it it discourages you from going for the sheep, really, and really makes you think about how you can uh, basically control those peri uh, patches around the map. So I think I think it's great. Um, it's a great addition. Um, so also bugs got fixed for the Abbasid and Delhi uh, explosive, um, the demolition ships, basically. So yeah, all around amazing patch. Um, China mains, <laughs> if you listen to this. Don't be, don't be, uh, don't be afraid, don't panic. Uh, just think about different army compositions. It's not just all about a uh, nest of bees and bombards, right? And that you spam them and you auto win the game. So I think this really forces China to re-explore. And r China has probably the most complex mechanics with their um, dynasty system. Uh, the fact that they can uh, build um, pretty much each landmark um, of each age. So. Uh, very, very, I think the most complex of all civilizations. So yeah, they, they have a very rich pool of uh, skills they can use. So I'm great. I'm, I'm really happy here that um, that Chinese will be able to explore all of this stuff. So here on Mountain Pass, um, this is very interesting because there's no other entrance in here except this little, little, little bit of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of space here, and we are pretty close with our uh, with our um, town center. So we can literally just go straight across the map and get to each other. So yes, very very um, very very exciting. Um, popping down some uh, palisade walls because you know you don't know what China can do. They they could pull up a Shuginu rush or something, and um, yeah, I'm not feeling. Uh, like this at all. I don't feel like defending myself against Chinese uh, uh, Shugi New rushes or whatever. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm uh, rather protected here. So yeah, let, let's speed this uh, up a little bit. We found a space, but you know, he's popping down like he snuck behind me. <laughs> 
He's putting down the Barbican of the Sun right here in the center. Smart play. He get, he project some power here with this defensive landmark. Villager truck quickly finishing up the wall here though. Uh, the enemy scout. He can't animation cancel anymore. You see? <laughs> it's impossible. There's no more animation cancelling. Otherwise the villager would be dead by now. So this is awesome. This is uh, the way it's supposed to be. No more animation cancelling. Yeah, the, the villager... In a, a little bit in a pickle here, but uh, we are really chasing the scout off. One HP left on that villager. <laughs> and the villager able to finish the wall. Oh boy. Yeah, definitely definitely have to get out of here. Um, so, um, yeah. Great play, I think, for both of us here. Uh, I walked off to prevent him from coming over, and he's fortifying the position with his Barbing of the Sun. Also get, got, got up two towers already. China can build stuff so quickly, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, getting a tower of my own here, because I want to have a little bit more vision than this little uh, uh, palisade side that I get here. What's happening in the homeland here? Back in the in the Sultanate, where dreams are becoming uh, true, we are having uh, a little bit of eco time here going on. The civilization is enjoying their their berries, very very uh, healthy, rich of vitamins, <laughs> supplying the Sultanate with the necessary. Uh, nutrients here so that we're able to grow and get stronger uh, we also have uh, some deer nearby here so yeah uh, our spearman here quickly built uh, the entrance here so our scouts are able to return if necessary I got out this horseman uh, yeah I want to see if I can maybe go around and maybe uh, harass him that was one of the ideas here, but um, yeah, but mostly getting out infantry, so they're able to reinforce uh, the front line. Will just helping that poor scholar against the wolf. We jumped on the next uh, berry patch, and yes, yeah, you can see, we are completely ignoring the sheep right now, which is which is great. It makes Delhi so different uh, from other factions. Our scout, he has to run a little bit. He tried to build a stone wall tower segment there, but yeah, he can't build a stone tower. I think there's not enough space here, so uh, yeah, he, he's, he's like uh, doing the typical um, slow burn here, burning down the palisade wall, and usually when people do this, they are building a force behind to push through, so... Um, oh, this is bad! I, oh, they're getting him here, almost got the walls up. Horseman on the other side. Got a little lost here, the poor fella. Managing to run away though. Yeah, this entire game is gonna center around this choke point here. So yeah, he's fortifying with a lot of towers. So uh, those are really lots of towers here. Lots of towers. I usually, at this point, I would uh, build um, more horses and raid him. But I feel like... It's already like it's a little too difficult at this point already. Yeah. So now it's all about fortifying here, um, and then thinking about what our next game plan is. Dropping on siege, uh, siege workshops because I want to be able to uh, get rid of those towers, and the plan now is to get trebuchets, which are going to do an excellent job here against this. Um, we're also collecting three relics, uh, our side of the map. Did he have only two on his side of the map here? Oh, that's 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 bad. That's really bad. It's unfortunate. Yeah. But you know, happened to me often as well. Uh, a clock tower, uh, the astronomical uh, clock tower coming up here and immediately getting nest of bees here. Clock tower, nest of bees. Uh, yeah, our, our scout still lurking in the back, seeing what's happening. He's building uh, another outpost, so he's playing extremely defensive here. Um, I could use that to my own advantage, but I'm thinking, you know, 
If I lose something here, he can just push right in and I have nothing to fall back on. And he, it's very bold. He's literally uh, building it right at the front line here, his landmark. So unfortunately, the stone node is here, so I cannot build uh, walls more straight. But we'll let's little build, build a little choke point here. Clock um, tower. Nest of be already working on our first wall here. That's okay. We're getting stone walls now. So we're also having uh, a trebuchet up now, which is going to besiege his outpost uh, eventually. Uh, we are first trying to go for the barricade here, which is going to force him to pull villagers. Obviously, we are supply capped, which is uh, <laughs> always happening here. Um, behind the castle age, we also went up with the second town center. So pretty much like him, he's on two town centers. We are on two town centers. We're both castle. Uh, but yeah, this is where Delhi usually shines. So, uh, but yeah, I cannot just run in this a death uh, zone. So we have first have to siege this down. I, I know the Chinese. The Chinese artillery is going to be nuts. And you can see he already has three clock tower nest of bees. And another a huge uh, and, and very important nerf was that the supervisor can no longer supervise this. Because otherwise it could have tripled the production rate. He could have had nine by now. Uh, considering he has the resources. Which if I look at him he looks pretty good in resources. Uh, he can trade as well if he wants to. So yeah this was too overpowered. Uh, they were just... Yeah... It would just get crazy with this. So yeah, clock towers uh, still lurking here, trying to get rid of the last stone walls. A third trebuchet coming out. We're getting rid of those towers first because he's really making sure to repair his uh, landmarks here. But yeah, now it's a little bit of a range problem. And uh, oh no! And they, they don't have their the sprint ability yet. No, we have to get we have to get away from here. They're so low health. Oh god. They're still alive. We didn't lose a single one, but they're low HP. Come on guys, get in. Oh my god, there's not much space here. Everything is <laughs> literally clogged up here. Oh my god, he's getting bold. He's getting pretty bold here. I have to say. Uh, yeah, I know he killed uh, he killed our man arms there for some reason they couldn't go through No, 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 that four survived uh, Okay, that's why we sent the scholars here to heal them Elephants chasing off his his uh, artillery. It's, it's a little weird that those that the artillery is faster than elephants But yeah, but look at this how fast they can repair stuff. Look at this. I think this is still a broken mechanic. I think this is still very broken. Will just should not be able to repair so quickly or not in combat. I don't know, but this is this is still broken. Like this makes absolutely no sense. Repairing your siege equipment, yes for sure, but at much slower rate, please. Like when it's damaged, it needs to be sent back uh, into a safe place where you can repair it, restore it, to be sent to the front line. They need to feel. Uh, Siege needs to feel special, and they really did a great job with uh, uh, making sure that uh, with the, with those nerves. But yeah, he has those insane repair rate, and his clock down SFP is there, resting us a little bit, not doing too much uh, damage here uh, right now. But now we are getting out Springle, so yeah, suck it, that clock down SFP. That's what you get for uh, being a little too bold here. Would definitely need a second um, a gate here. Yeah. Bombarding the, the uh, barbican of the sun again. We have three or four trebuchets at this point. Uh, yeah, one is not firing though. We have three, but only two are currently able to fire. The third one is trying to find a spot to be. Yeah. So we are effectively firing with two. Uh, also mustering um, elephant force in the back. Look at them. Beautiful, beautiful. So now he went into Imperial, the typical China play. Uh, get to Imperial, get out those uh, 
clock tower bombards uh, just kill you basically. There's nothing in the world you can do against this stuff once they get the critical mass. So obviously we can't allow him in. It's nerfed now, which is great. But you can see, <laughs> he's immediately queuing that up. Um, so yeah. Do you see how the, how the lumber came? How this little wheel, wheel thingy just rolled off? It looked very, very nice. So yeah, elephants doing a little bit of scouting here. We destroyed this first landmark. Other elephants coming into the front line. And now we are bombarding his clock tower. With our... Ah, uh, uh, but yeah, this keep. This, this keep um, is keeping us back for sure. Doing a ton of damage now, elephants. Yeah, it's a bombard here. But thankfully, we are mustering a force of uh, Springles here. I like that the, uh, that the siege is now way slower here. It's really great. So here we have him. Um, clock tower bombard is down to 600. It was 721st. Regular bombards are 400. Come on, get him! So, bye bye bye. That's what you get, China. <laughs> and them as well. Awesome. I, I love this. And now they're way slower as well. Of course, he has his villagers here in the front to repair. Uh, you know, he has a lot of villagers uh, that he pulled for this task, but it's okay. Uh, we, we are destroying those walls ourselves to have a little bit more space here because there's literally no way to maneuver. Yeah, got rid of the second landmark here as well. Um, so yeah, only the towers left and the keep, and then we have free we have free reign. We have man arms, uh, lots of elephants here as well, ready to move in. Yeah, he comes with his own uh, palace guard to get our springles. We sniped yet another uh, artillery piece here, but all our elephants are on top of the palace guards, doing an amazing job job there. Springles on the back supporting. Focusing down those annoying uh, Chinese artillery pieces. Uh, also getting onto the cannon here. Which is still like, it takes a lot of shots to take this down. Uh, but still, a uh, great thing here. Uh, setting up the trebuchets now to work on the, uh, the keep. So he knows he's in trouble and at this point he surrenders. Uh, so yeah, very interesting to play against China after the patch here. Um, I'm really happy that they do, uh, made those changes. Makes the game more realistic, more fun. Makes artillery more valuable as well. Mine was also way slower, the, 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 the trebuchets and the um, springles. So yeah, makes the uh, allows for a way more diverse playstyle. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.